All right, yo guys, we are back for episode D2. We are now on our third series for today, and we are about to witness the bronze match between Team Sharker and Saints Ladies. We will still be your shoutcasters. I'm Kaysaya, and I'm with Yuko. Hey, Yuko. Hey, guys. So, yeah, this is Yuko, and like what Kaysaya said, this is the bronze match, which, which is basically the battle for third place. And we have Sharker and Saints Ladies. Um, Sharker, yesterday, We've been seeing a lot of their games. They were pretty strong, but I guess um, when paired with Pokemon, Pokemon is just in a different league. Yeah, and well, I, I think we can also discuss the importance of having this bronze match because, okay, prize pool that we currently have right now. So for the champion, we have 300 Singaporean dollars plus 4,000 diamond. Plus they get a chance on flying to Singapore on June 8 to 9 for FSL Elite. Our first runner up will take home 200 Singaporean dollars plus 200, uh, 2,000 diamonds. And the second runner up will, which we are about to find out if it's gonna be saints ladies or team sharker uh one of them Your is gonna take home 100 on. singaporean dollars plus 1000 diamonds so um the third place is for this bronze match is definitely also important because they get to take Your home something apart from experience of course, of course. and um it will be nice, even though some people might think that third place is just third place. Yeah. Hey, Team that means fine. out of the, uh, let's say, 100, out of 100 teams, yeah. you were able to emerge and bag the third place. So that's still something. You just need to, you know, um, fight better next time. But the band, so far, we have a Kufra, a Esmeralda, Guinevere, and Kimi. Standard yeah. bands as well, but I guess now they do not want to deal with an Esmeralda. Yeah, and maybe um, just going back to what we were discussing about opportunities. So, yeah, even if you didn't get to get, uh, you'll win something from the prize pool if you ended up being on the fourth place or, or, or so. Um, what you got is actually the experience your plus of course this is something picking. that you can add up onto your portfolio so if you're actually not yet uh, like a sponsored team so if and, and wow. if you're just about to form and find out picking. someone we can probably sponsor your team so that they can manage you and get you more opportunity you definitely need to show some something like the experience of your team what did you have or if you're going solo this would definitely count as well Mm -hmm. It will definitely count, I mean, but for looking Your at the blue side, they went with a double mage setup, so that is a mm -hmm. lot of burst, and <laughs> they need solid frontliner to which they uh, locked in a Minotaur, so that's a good uh, choice. Looking they, at the red side, they were yeah. able to get the Grog and the Kaja, though. They took away here, Team Saints took away all of the, you know, Fusion. the top two mages that Your we're currently looking banning. at at the moment if Esmeralda gets banned. But at the same time, really good looking T, uh, I mean, combo of tank support that we also have in here for Team Sharker in the form of the Kaja as well as the Grok. So, we might be able to say or vote for our, you know, highly um, preferred overall composition here once we see them pick their fourth and last heroes. Mm -hmm. So they banned all the cards since the red team does not have a marksman yet. And for the side of the red team, they could ban out Akai. Yeah, they could go with Akai. Okay. Anyway, um, Kari is still open. If ever um, blue team is not eyeing that Kari though, or they did ban on the blue Akai. Team is picking. The Akai and just to remove another tanky run. option for Saint Ladies indeed. Mm-hmm. Uh, however, Liam of, of course, Liam Ward. Why did picking. I forget Liam Ward? <laughs> you shouldn't forget Liam Ward because, you know, your your playmate always makes use of that Liam Ward. That's true, everyone makes use of the Leo Mort. But so far, the Leo Mort plays from all of these themes are really, really strong. Yeah, 
Um, Lolita still making a scene in here. We don't usually see Lolita in FSL Philippines, but we did see a lot of Lolita in Myanmar and Indonesian teams. So it, it's also fun seeing in here, you know, and making use of the capabilities Lolita. of these heroes. So I think Your one thing I noticed is, is that Philippines team will go for Beleric. Um, in exchange for that, Myanmar okay. and Indonesia would go for they would go for a Lolita. So they value mm -hmm. the stun more stuns on crowd control more than the reflect. That, that is true. And, oh, and the last pick for the red side is a carry. They chose a carry for their marksman. Um damage output wise, I'm leaning towards the red team, but mm -hmm. if, but if we're gonna talk about sustain mm -hmm. and initiate, I guess blue team has the advantage. Um, we'll just have to see as well how they're gonna go about it. Meantime, we're gonna go for a quick rundown of all of the heroes they have picked in here so far. So we got in here for Team Saints Ladies, we have Minotaur for Baby May, Thams for Jelly, Lunox for Bill, Lolita for Chainsmo, and Harith for Ash Love Yolo. You know this name? It feels like I don't. She maybe, loves Yolo. Yeah, she loves. Yolo de definitely. I mean, it's something that you really would value your partner so much. Putting that name even for your IGN, really well, sweet. Yeah. It, it was smart. You know what? Um, <laughs> like what I said, aside from the team name, the enemy you gotta love the with the with the, with the IGNs them. of the players. All troops to yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We, were we able to do the team rundown? You didn't. Do your yeah, part I didn't, yet? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do <laughs> you the, got, you the got thing distracted right by my COVID. I got distracted oh, I by your YOLO. <laughs> Jesus. But anyway, um, for Go the ahead. side of Sharker, here we have Momo Rin on Grog Klian on Kaja Chili for this Gushin, Fancy Nancy on Liam Ward, and Baby Shark for this car. You know what? I have a strong feeling that Baby Shark could be the captain of this team uh, because Sharker and her name is Baby Shark so maybe 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 good point good point makes sense indeed <laughs> why not oh and now so the, the Baby Shark song is now playing inside my head Request. same like, I'm just baby shark <laughs> <laughs> I'm just keeping myself from actually singing it because, I couldn't you know, contain it's, myself, it's I had to sing <laughs> Yeah, here the bot lane chili eyeing this bot lane crab Secured this and Lolita uses flicker to be able to get away But nah, -uh, Gushin actually jumped in First blood going over to this grog And Lunox the only one left there Liam are saying, yo yo, gather here yo But apparently yo, yo. these two are just gonna stay at the bot lane and farm Yep, one kill lead in favor of Team Sharker and they are trying to continue to give themselves a snowball as they try to get some neutral monsters away from the jungle as well. Initiating in here onto the middle lane 3v2 situation. Baby Bay trying to back away. Um his life is more than is less than half, so um play it safe, Turtle play it safe for them soon. because you know his her ultimate is not available at, at the same time. Yep, that is true. So, uh huh, as a top lane, Kargan Kaja against the Thongs. Not gonna see any action yet, but Gushin is eyeing this turtle. Oh, yeah, th I think this is the first time that we're gonna see Chili on a Gushin. Mm -hmm. So, she is actually one of the players that I um, kind of noticed all throughout the tournament because she is pretty strong. But looking at the turtle area, uh, blue team already started the turtle. Let's see if red team will contest. Ooh. And apparently, they did not mean oh, no here one. And alright, here we go. Grok actually in the middle of everything. And Hired disengaging. He does not have his Initiate ultimate. Retreat. So that is a good safe play for the blue team. Able to get away from, their, from red team trying to box them in. Unfortunately for that Minotaur, no one get caught by that Minoan Fury. It was kind of a waste. Um, probably it was the opportunity for Saints ladies to get a casualty away from Team Sharker. Um, it's just a Sharker. I think they are just way too um, alert on how to react based on the preparations that Saints ladies has been making but then again this is just early game time uh 
everyone, both of them are trying to catch up and take a lead in terms of Golden Farm. So there's a lot more thing to happen in the game. That's true, that's true. And I think um, they actually went with it right here. The, here at the mid lane though, Harik uses his Zaman Force, Minotaur uses, uses his Minion Fury, and that Ooh. is pretty much two dead people onto the side of their team. Kaja using his second skill to be able to get away, but of course, he is still Request, under threat, protecting off. protecting it with his life. Anyway, um, I think they... That's the in the bot. Oh wait, here the bot lane. She is She's actually all alone. being targeted. Well, next, using her ultimate, Harith uses Zaman Force again. But I think that was a slightly wrong positioning. It was not able to slow Leo more down. Gushin. Mm -hmm. All right. So anyway, I think they locked in this Alita to make sure that Gushin's daggers will be blocked Mom, away. Yeah. So that is a good counter pick for the side of. Uh, Saints Lady. Well, Saints Ladies uh, almost got the opportunity a while ago when they failed to gank the Leon Ward. They got the space to take that care when turned in the bottom lane, but unfortunately they didn't took that opportunity. Instead, they transitioned onto taking a potential fight against Team Sharker. Fight ongoing onto the turtle side. One woman, Minoan Fury, getting stunned in here. Two members from the red side. Baby Shark is gonna fall down. Double kill is gonna go to Harris. Will this be a triple kill? Yes, indeed it is. Just in time, they are able to give themselves a good rotation to take a, an objective onto the top lane but Lolita will create a space give some time for the rest of her teammates to take the tier 1 turret on the top lane but for an exchange of her life was that yep. worth it? Request, request, um, I, okay, I think it is because they were able to secure an objective and that is the first blood turret but this is the blue team that we all have been seeing in day one. I was looking at the Indo stream for a handful of times and I saw that this is how they actually play. So for the side of Sharker though, you guys can still do this. Just we, we're, we're looking for the Sharkers that we saw in day one, mm -hmm. the dominating, the two yeah. zero bagging, the smart plays, the smart decision making. So I guess they weren't able to position themselves well just yet. Yep, just yet on the top lane 1v1. Thams versus Carrie. Carrie going so low, but she's now under turret. Jelly, oh my goodness, getting burst yeah. down. Pulling mega kill onto the middle lane by that Harith. Two for zero trade. Momo Rins going so low. Whoops, but quite tanky. So looks like she will still manage to survive. We'll be able to put that wall up, but. The blue team is not stopping. They want to take this tier 1 turret onto the middle lane, but going onto the bottom side part of the map, Leomer just took down Lunox. YOLO, though, will not be chasing that Leomer anymore. Instead, will go for a turret take onto the bottom lane. Lightning Truncheon already up for Gushin and teams signaling the third turtle or second turtle and this will be locked in by the blue team. No contest at all because nope. of their fast reaction time. Um, going back to the mini 1v1 at the top lane, Kaja was actually late. Should he have arrived there earlier? I think he could have used Divine Judgment on this Thoms, mm -hmm. pull him under turret and Kari could have used her ultimate and taken Thoms down. Yeah, unfortunately, bad timing for the Kaja. Meanwhile, onto the top lane, they want to clear that lane as fast as they can. Um, they need, because the Lord is about to go up 91 seconds from now, the, the lane that you want to contest here would be the top as well as the mid, so that you can create space for yourselves to to position early on oh what an under turret engaged by the lolita too will fall down from the side of team sharker that was a very risky move but at the same time they know their advantage they got the damage they got the sustain they got the sustain and you know it just won them but at the bottom lane part of the map fancy nancy they might not they should not forget um this leo Mert, if they let them be uh they they let this leomer just be there um they could lose two turrets but uh lucky for them leomer actually went back away to the base 
Yep, I am loving this. Wait, wait, wait. Um, Goshen actually jumped in. Phantom Steed has been Launch called, and Samus actually got knocked up. And of down. course, Leo Mord uh, shoving the living hell out of his enemies. And is this a disengage? Are you guys not gonna give it a go? Apparently not. Anyway, um, I am loving that Numinum Blast and Minion Fury at the top lane because it was synced so well mm -hmm. that the red team or Sharker was not able to do anything. Yes, indeed, and uh, good map control onto the side of Saints Ladies now. I wonder if they will be able to keep up. I think they should finish this as early as they can because they don't have any marksmen on their lineup. They, their opponent yeah. has a carry that definitely will dish out so much damage by the late game time should she have already the itemization that she needs. Minotaur is saying they should attack the Lord Concentrated Energy already up for this 404 Harit. So yeah, level 1 Lord up right here. Red team rotating to the top lane as well. Lolita just saying hello to the Lord area. And another Mira Fury at the top lane dropped really low on health, but Gushin actually got spotted out. He was able to get away. But the Force has been popped. Numina Blast has been popped as well. Unstoppable for the Tyrant Lunox using Order of Brilliance was able to take down this Gushin. But at the mid lane, uh, Leo Mord along with this carry shoving the lanes and they were able to bag one turret, but they will now back down Fran Seed has been popped. He does not want to fight, but Demon Force has been used as well. Grok trying to protect him as much as he can, but Demon was able to dash away using his second skill along with Gary at the top lane, and now they are in safe territory. Man, Grok is super tanky though, yeah. to the point that the blue team was not able to take him down. We've been talking about beef. This, this Grok is not just made of beef, but definitely rock. <laughs> So uh, hard to, and rock, rock. yeah. <laughs> but there you go. Oh, we can see Are an aggressive red team. Up? Will they be able to steal this one out? Unfortunately, not. They will go for a full on five v five fight. And there we go. No one fear did connect. Momo Ring going so low. Baby Shark gonna try to be to find a better position, but to no afford. There was just so much first damage coming off from the Lunox. Oh, triple kill will even go to the thumbs and Gushin is a bad position. She will fall down and there you go. Team Sharker got wiped out completely even from the Lord fight. The Lord is now on to the middle lane, gonna hit the turret down. Everyone else will be regaining their HP bars back. Yeah, the escape tactics on the Silic Place is actually really good. Um, we saw that she was one skill or one hit away from dying against this Gushin, but she was able to stun or immobilize him, which then Thoms decides to jump in through his first skill and was able to secure another kill. Liumar at a top lane, clearing out the minion waves, and uh, Saints Lady is able to regain their health. Momentum has been used, will not to use her third skill, and Rob upping up his wall. So I think blue team is gonna jump in the moment they see one opening by Thumbs here alone at the bot lane. Again, just clearing out the minion waves, just pressuring Sharker as much as they can. They can mm -hmm. go and try and take on the top lane turret. I don't know, but anyway, there is already a hole. So <laughs> Minotaur was so tanky, they could oh. not do anything until my minion of fury. And look at that double kill going over to this Lunox. The minion blast has been pop as well let the bodies hit the floor and leo mart down that's a triple kill for this lunox cushion the only one left there but of course blue team is just gonna focus on hitting Ooh. the throne and that is game one going over the saints congratulations the saints ladies they just need one more point to secure the uh rank three or oh, yeah for a bronze match this series so 5-0-11-7-1-6 Definitely our mages went online together with the thumbs Dealing so much damage plus having that survivability as well He was able to farm in the early game because I haven't been seeing much of this uh, thumbs in the early game But after he solo killed that carry, he basically snowballed from there Yes, so I, I still believe though that there is a potential for 
team Sharker to make a comeback later on. We've seen this their skills. I mean, they dominated at least from round ones, uh, rounds one and two, and I'm pretty sure they can still showcase something. But it's just, uh, I guess, uh, it, it's all it's uh, it is gonna depend as well on Saints ladies if they will allow their opponent to do that. So. That's true. So, um, what do you think? Could Saints Lady, I, I mean, can Sharker still do this? Though, can they push this to a game three? Um, again, yes, I, I think so too. It's just that I guess they gotta be mindful on their draft. Um, it, it is balanced indeed, but somehow Saints Ladies has a better way of doing the cycle game against them. I mean, I they, know, I, I can't. Again, yeah. it's so weird because it was a double mage setup, yeah. but they were able to put it off. And with good tank support, Lolita and Minotaur, they didn't even need the Kaja Divine Judgment or the super beefy Grok. Um, all they needed was this kind of strategy that they pulled off an orthodox, in an orthodox way against the meta of Team against the meta in Indonesia so I guess commendable game one in favor of uh, Team Saints ladies I'm pretty sure um, uh, Sharker will attempt to make a comeback um, we'll just have to see probably on how it is gonna go so yes guys so we will just take a short break as we prepare our next lobby for our game two we've been your shotcasters I'm K Saya and with me is Yuko hold on tight What's up? So, the question today is, will they be able to go 2-0 here at the bronze match? And will we see a 3-0 onto the side of the finals? I don't know, it's just, everything is 100% and then 0. And it makes me feel that I don't know. Um, I have a lot of uh, catching up to do when it comes to my skills in ML because they are really good. Yeah. Yeah, you're playing horribly, which is not enough, and you will win because you can't rotate. But here we are. Um, third series bronze match again this is sharker versus saints ladies and saints ladies already up on one your team is banning Mm -hmm. That is true. So um, for now, the first ban is a Kaja ban. Uh, they don't want that strong Divine Judgment and Harith banning. got banned out as well. As far as I know, it was Saints Lady, Saints Lady that used Harith in Game 1. So they don't want to give that out for Sharker. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. My... 
my mic in the live stream actually was off while we were talking and oh. saying all the things that we did say a while ago. But anyway, yes, we are back. I apologize for Your that. Um, <laughs> he 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 he. Sometimes it happens, like when you don't yeah. have enough. Uh, sleep. Well, anyways, we are back for the, for Your our bronze is match. Picking. This is now game two of the best of three match for the bronze match. We are about to find out who is going to be our third placer for this tournament. Uh, is it going to be Sharker or Saint Ladies? Again, Saints Ladies did get one point already. They just need to secure one Marine to be on that third spot. Yeah. All right, so uh, on to the side of Sharker. First pick is a Queen no Nox, but for the Your side of Saints Ladies, they managed to get Guinevere and Grog. I mean, I realize um, for the matches so far, we haven't seen a uh, super aggressive Guinevere. God. It's more on uh, just the initiates, more Your on the cleanups, picking. but we haven't actually seen the Guinevere actually the one getting bagging the kills and all that. Mm hmm and this time um harry is getting banned out there will be no harry lunox combo this time but early secure by team sharker onto that claude you we know he, in here that carry is still available i wonder if sharker will ban that out so that team Saints ladies will, you know, lack a marksman, but we saw a while ago Saints ladies didn't even need a marksman at all for the composition that they have Your built a while ago. But yeah. Yeah. It's actually, again, um, I was not expecting them to pull off the composition, but they did, so that is cool. That is uh, something the sh baby shark, Sharker! We'll want to uh, look out for Goose to show that no matter what draft or what lineup things ladies will pick or will select, they'll be able to pull it off. And for the tanks, they managed to get a Grok Your and a Nakai. They banned out Cho. They don't want that delivery or way of the dragon. But for the blue side, their last ban is a Gusha. Um, and Esmeralda's open. Oh yeah, Selena's open Your as well. I think this is the picking. first time you're gonna see a Selena in the tournament. For today, we've seen it, I think, from... I, I, was it Myanmar? I think it was in Myanmar, for yeah. sure we did. Um, I just Your forgot about yesterday. Picking. But I think we did one see it. Did we not? Fanny. Oh, but Fanny getting locked in oh. here for the first time for FSL Indonesia. Oh, that what is, is a, this Fanny a surprise place? pick. Yeah, oh, it's, cool. it's totally cool. We've seen this. We didn't see this in FSL Philippines. We did see this, Fanny, in FSL Myanmar. And now, Indonesian girls are showcasing, hey, we can Fanny. We can show you some Fanny plays. Yep. Um, let's see. Um, uh, assuming that Selena's arrows will be able to hit someone, Fanny can just jump in and, you know, use the cable all around. But... Let's go with the team lineup for Sharker. We have Momo, Rin on Lolita, Baby Shark for Claude, Lian on Minotaur, Chili for this Lunox, and Fancy Nancy on this top. And for Saints Ladies, we have in here Grok for Baby May, Fanny for Jelly, Guinevere for Bill, Akai for Chainsmo, and Selena for Ash Love Yolo. Alright, so um Wanna see the Fanny please? Yeah, I mean it's an unorthodox pick and it is super Welcome out of balance in a good legends. way for mm -hmm. me because Five the blue team or Sharker the has the, the more battle. standard lineup Smash but them. I don't know like what you said this fanny it's not something we expected <laughs> Yep, and once more in here, although I think carry was available, um, Saints Ladies didn't even mind picking that carry up. They said probably we gotta show you some, you know, an orth unorthodox type of composition that you probably are not prepared of going against it. Mm -hmm. So, again, early game farming. Uh the thing about Fanny though, of course, is she needs to constantly secure her blue buff. And then I realized Selena is a mage and there's a Guinevere as well. So I guess they're just going to have to sacrifice their blue buffs and give it all to oh. Fanny. There has been a pause. So still, um, we are going to uh, get back to that in a bit. 
Mm -hmm. So, hold on. Okay, two tanks onto the lineup of Saints Ladies. They got really mobile heroes in the form of the Fanny as well as the Selena. Good crowd control source and magic damage from the Guinevere. They're definitely lacking DPS, but the assassination potential is quite high. Yeah, to get so this blood. Given that the rotations for Saints Ladies is quite fast and um, really consistent, I think um, this draft will work well for them. Mm -hmm. So we got uh, news from our organizer that a player got disconnected, not too sure yet. Who was that? Anyway, we didn't get a first blood yet, so mm -hmm. I think she got disconnected in a safe position maybe. So we will resume once this player okay. gets back. Yeah. Let's see though. Having a balanced mm -hmm. lineup in here for Team Sharker. This is the the standard. I mean, this is the standard composition. Having one marksman, having a mage, having a fighter or an assassin, and at least um, two tanks or tank support and we'll just have to see how this can go against a kind of you know unusual pick that team saints ladies created that is true so uh huh we were just waiting for the official statement from our organizers given that a player did get dc and i think it's okay because it hasn't been one minute yet Mm -hmm. And net problems is a thing. Yep. We sometimes cannot avoid that. I mean, even in other PC online games, it it can happen, right? Even in other genres. So, because this is an online game, um, it's something that we cannot really control, have full control with. Mm -hmm. So, do you think uh, there's a good chance that Sharper will be able to bag game 2? Probably yes, I believe that they definitely can Especially if it went up to the mid to late game With some items for this Claude um, Let's admit it, this Claude, Lunox and Thams are really great damage dealers So if you make them online, you know, they can just delete the Selena and Fanny that are way too squishy I mean, they got enough stuns and knock-ups available from the side of Sharker from Minotaur and Lolita to be able to lock that uh, mobile Fanny so I guess they do definitely have the chance mm -hmm. um, so I think one of the players managed to reconnect now so we will carry on with the game Fanny going in and they're just getting their blue buffs Fancy Nancy in the middle of everything she is Ooh, really first low on blood. her health and that is first blood going over to this Fanny oh wow. I think Chili's just standing there but we're gonna She's wait so for a pause from the organizers the, um, we are just casting and spectating by the way there you go the pause so yep, uh, we are not allowed to touch the game yep um and you know what i think with lolita shield uh i just realized because the, we we saw a comment in here coming from john on the stream that you know we with good lolita's sh uh, uh with good placing of lolita's shield she might be able to you know block off these arrows from selena as well and we know this arrows from selena is something that we usually would want to avoid because it takes so much time because you can gain control of your of yourself once you got hit by that arrow that's true uh -huh. so i guess um the red side this is man um i i need food <laughs> anyway <laughs> um saints ladies has a lot of cc on their side same goes to the side of sharker but i guess Again, when it comes to the early game or the harass potential, I'm leaning towards the red team. The red team. So, if I guess, I, I for me, I guess if they make it to the early to mid game time, but still they cannot let the blue team, you know, um, they cannot let this game go to the late game time wherein that Claude already has the items that he needs as well as the Lunox and Thumbs. So yeah, I'm kinda like I can't say that I'm just go 
I'm just gonna go for one team but I guess it is it will depend on the timing as well in the game so yeah maybe maybe our viewers can let us know those who are viewing on Facebook on YouTube as well as on Yahoo and Streamcraft let us know which you think has a better composition or maybe if you cannot mm -hmm. uh, decide from there maybe let us know um, who's your bias in here who's your bias yep uh, who's who is the team we're uh, rooting for uh, one of the organizers said that the play uh, the end game is super laggy so mm -hmm. they need some time to fix that yeah and well because this Wait, is or I, I realize my device is there whenever the game gets paused there's a countdown right yeah the timer in my device is not moving apparently really it's still you still ha have oh. the timer with you oh no <laughs> oh no you still oh, have no, the timer with you well anyway all right while you cannot see probably cannot see what is happening in here there's actually a 1v1 action on the top lane while the red team is actually securing the turtle that they just did now. So 1k gold lead, almost 1k gold lead in favor of Saints at the moment. Um, Sharker is currently on a bad position at the moment. We're in Chile, just started moving right now and it appears uh, she. the organizer said that she is lagging. She's trying to reconnect. Mm -hmm. But we can see in here, Sharker didn't, you know, no one's requesting for a pause. But meanwhile, on the bottom lane part of the map, 3v2 situation at the moment. Um, but this Guinevere was able to take down the cloud. I was able to reconnect now. All's good. Apparently, I got the seed as well. It's a thing. It's okay. All's good. <laughs> I panicked for a little bit. Oh, yeah. We are back in the game. Uh, Chili, though. Although she's moving, I, I'm not too sure yet if she's okay now. But then again, Sharker is not requesting for a pause anymore. So it's probably all good. In the bottom lane though, Bill trying to bully two members under turret. But will manage to back away. Just basically a poke and a clear of waves. And blue buff, Jelly uh, together with Baby May and Ash Love Yolo. Probably they might want to take that away from them but three members from the side of sharker are here wanting to defend that they didn't get in a fight momo green is quite low and looks like this is gonna be a steal in favor of the red side momo green going so low and jelly though lacking in terms of hp bar she will back away but one in here ash love yolo will fall down yep uh, that is Casualty after casualty for both teams. I guess um, they are able to go on par with the aggression that their enemy Turtle shows, but mm -hmm. gold advantage and kill num uh, number of kills advantage still on the side of the red. Yep. Um, again, I've seen this. It feels like a deja vu. We're in the fanny clearing off the waves on the top lane, and the rest of the members going for the turtle take. This is the second turtle of the game and it is well contested by Saints ladies. They have snowballed now up to 2k gold lead and looks like they're not gonna stop as they will try to make an attempt onto the middle lane uh, to get the turret. But for the meantime, Momorin is being caught in here. Leon to the back up on the top lane. 1v1 situation between Fanny and Thumbs. Oh, there you go. That wall. Smooth. Smooth cable, right, table so place. It's, it's safe to say that the Fanny knows the map like the back of her hand because that uh, escape tactic, those micro plays were enough to take down a really tanky Thumbs. But here at the mid lane, Akai alone at the mid lane gonna join Selena, which is securing her blue buff. Bot lane, Guinevere and Grok just. Okay, I thought they were waiting for the buff, but Organivir jumps in, uses Violet for Krim, and that was apparently enough to take down the Minotaur Claw, use his Blazing Duet, but Grok used his wall to be able to protect this Guinevere. And there you go, this map control is now, in, now going on to the red side. Looks like they're not gonna stop as they try to, to try to take away this tier 1 turret onto the middle lane. And Chili, together with Nancy and Chainsmo, will try to defend it, but to no afford. Everyone's going in for a team fight. Oh, Bill diving in under a turret 
will manage to back away. An assist from Chase Mo Hurricane Dance has been popped out. Going down uh, on the HP bars are the tanks and fighter onto the side of the blue team. Oh, Minou and Fury though getting the two women knock up, but no follow up. Too bad. Um, that could have <laughs> been the perfect setup they needed, but it's okay. Um, let's just leave it to them. Maybe they thought it was really risky. Fanny jumps in, gets a uh, oh, killing spree. Going over this, Fanny Lunox jumps in, uses her ultimate. Yeah, uses ultimate chaos, but apparently the the range was not enough. Akai actually used her, uh, his hurricane dance Ooh. to try and calm this thumb down. Selena uses arrow, but apparently it connected to Minotaur. Brock Wall is now up. It, it is a four or three v two. Fanny again joins the team and was able to uh, secure one assist, but Guinevere was able to bag a kill and she is now on a kill. Wow, and cut of Crip Waves by the Selena. They're gonna take this tier two turret onto the top lane as well. Mm, might there be a fight that, on, that is gonna go? Um, apparently not. This is just the third turtle. Look at the DPS of Baby Shark right now. It's not just enough compared to what the others have in here onto the side of Team Saints, ladies. Um, looks like another turret will be falling down in the mid. Athena shield up. This is a tankier Grok that we have in here now. Selena might want to take the buff out and then proceed on to getting the third turtle of the game. So, 2-10. This is a dominating match here, Ko. It is. It actually really is. Um, still, I think it's uh, because of the aggression Request and the map backup. control they have. And looking with fun going in against the, the, those were three people. But yep. she was able to bait out the blazing duet of the Claude. She yep, yep, used yep. her arrow, but apparently it did not connect to anything. Graf goes in, uses his wall, but why did he put it there? But alright, uh, Minotaur jumps in, did Initiate not use Minotaur 3, but uh, Guinevere jumps in, Violet Requiem, and Selena uses her arrow as well. Her again dance has been popped, and Graf just at the front line, uh, zoning away this storm. So that was a pretty slow-paced clash. I guess they were just trying to scare away um, Baby Shark. Yeah, and this, you go, you can see Jelly going all in whenever her energy is available, but gotta be very careful in here. Luckily, the, his teammates is able to take the turret down, and there you go. They would want to get this inhibitor turret. I wonder what Claude is doing. Baby Shark's just farming at the moment. I mean, she's trying to protect herself as well to not get any more deaths because she got two deaths already and what else can she do she needs to farm her way up and and she definitely need, needs to catch up the advantage damage will come from her that is true um i guess she needs to go online and uh have proper positioning because that is pretty much the name of the game they're in between the two turrets Lita jumps in but Ak akai he had he had his ult there, but he did not commit. I think it could have been nice if they were able to take down Lolita. But here we go, Fanny going 1v1 oh. against Miss Ramos again. When she oh was able to assassinate him down, Akai jumped in, used her again, dance to get away. Selena Ooh. used the arrow, was not able to connect, but Minasar used uses his flicker to be able to get away. My goodness, this is a really good fan he plays. And Jelly, just in time, of course, being mobile, will be able to defend the tier 1 turret onto the top lane. And Yuko, no turrets down yet for Team Saints ladies in here. And I wonder if they can keep up as you can see here, Baby Shark try is trying her best to farm her way up, but she cannot she cannot overextend way too much just like what she's doing right now oh that arrow did connect but she will be able to back away i guess just right in time backup is incoming getting stunned in here are the members of the red team kill will go to the thumbs and jelly those trying to go for the back line targeting the squishiest target uh, away from team sharker however though sharker is clumped up together they cannot just mm -hmm. um engage against that but in here guinevere will take the chance but to no afford the wall has been placed i think a little bit wrong so 
Anyway, that was under turn already. So play it safe as well for the red team. Yep, that's true. So looking at the stats, um, this Initiate this retreat. Fanny is a five zero two. So things are looking good for oh. her. Even the blast has been charged, but everyone was able to evade Fanny going in, Fanny going out. They just want to take down the turret. They do not want to commit in any clashes, given that um, there's only three of them at the bot lane. Hmm. Let's see in here. What can the blue team do? They definitely need to catch up. 12k gold lead now. On the, onto the side of Saint Ladies. They want to get that 2 0 score, it seems. But the Lord is now available. Um, I think this is the second Lord. Correct me if I'm wrong. Or the, uh, no, the first. I think this is the first. I think because, yeah, yeah. This is the first. So because it's a level one Lord being secured by yep. the red team. Because it took them a little bit long to get the last turtle of the game. We don't know contest at all. Team Saint Ladies will be getting the Lord of the first Lord of the game. Thumbs in a bad position. Gonna get chased by the rest of the members of the red team. But of course, she will try to retreat together with her teammates. Fanny going in that wall placing is just enough to find a place to get the cables connected. But unfortunately. Uh, the, it seems like they're gonna wait for a good wave of uh, minions in here in the mid as well as in the bot as the Lord walks towards their base. Mm -hmm. Lord at the bot lane walking towards their base indeed finally decides to join the Lord and clears a handful of creep waves there but the other members are at the mid lane applying pressure. Fanny joins her team. Uh, Selena's arrow apparently did not connect but that's okay. Um, also, I am I'm kind of concerned that there's a lot of arrows from seeing it that did not connect. But down the minimum blast has been charged. Grok jumps in, and that is a lot of damage onto their faces. Fanny going in, monster kill going over to the side. Oh. Their fury has been popped. Double kill going over to Spinavir. Make that a triple kill and. She was being boxed in, found <laughs> being boxed in, and that is another kill going over to the red team. A wipeout, and this is pretty much Ooh, congratulations the of the red team, which is Saint. Lady. They're not even finishing the base yet. They're letting the minions get the base. But congratulations to Saints Ladies winning 2 0 score. Grabbing that third spot in the rankings on this episode, Indonesia. Saints, ladies, congratulations. Yep. So, another 2 0, apparently. 2 0 seems to be a thing here in Indonesia. Yep. 606, um, this Fanny did build herself as a jungler, getting two attack uh, weapons uh, and Athena shield for added survivability, but of course we would see her go in and out So she definitely need to add some shield for herself and Well, I think overall It, it went pretty well for the side of team Saints ladies, it was just kind of unfortunate though a little bit anyway for um, Team Sharker they got some disconnects on the early parts of the game, but we did pause to allow them to get back to the game and as they have requested we did would pause the game whenever they would request mm -hmm. data at least they're able to uh, reconnect and hopefully they were able to get better net connection yep but okay turret damage that was done it was mostly on to this fanny oh my goodness i think our teams from other countries have to prepare because you know, we saw from FSL Myanmar, um, we they did pick a Fanny hero and it, it led them to a win. This time we saw another Fanny hero, it led them to a win. Um, I wonder mm -hmm. if we'll see once more a Fanny for FSL Singapore and Malaysia next weekend. Maybe. 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 Uh, the odds are good. Yeah. And... We're gonna have guys a 15 minutes break before we head on to our final round. Final. Yes, Ooh, we are about to find Queen. out. Yeah, I wonder, Pokemon I wonder. Pokemon versus SFI Queen. Yeah. Yes, Pokemon versus SFI Queen. That's gonna be a best of three match. We're gonna thank our sponsors for the meantime. 
Dreamcore, Yahoo Overdrive, MLBBE Project, Creative, Super Solid, and of course, Streamcraft. We are live here on Facebook, Streamcraft, Yahoo, and the YouTube. So feel free to watch whenever you want and wherever you want. And yes, we're Shotcasters. I'm Kaysaya, and with me is Siko. We will be back after a 15 minutes break. <laughs> 